walk over here and turn this off. So you look in. That is quiet fusion. I don't know if you can see it, but that's as good as it gets. Alright. Now, yeah, let's set the camera down with the mold within view. Stick up there. Grab that plug right quick since I left this inside the lid. And the lid is now hot. Set that up over there. Take the plug off. Oh yeah. pretty well pour it out. That works. Set the crucible back in the furnace. Pick up the lid. Back on the furnace. I left that heat in there, that bar ran it a while ago, so it's hot. Don't me. Anyway, it will cool. And there we have that. We just gotta wait for it to cool off now. I'm gonna grab my chunk of fire brick and set it back over the vent. That allows the crucible that's in there to cool down slowly. And that way it doesn't heat fracture because if you set it out here to the side somewhere and let it cool slow or fast, atmospheric temperature, they will crack. I'm not supposed to reuse them, but I reuse all my crucibles for my own stuff. And yeah, if I can run four or five passes out of them doing something like this, that's what I'm going to do. Especially with a dedicated crucible that's dedicated to nothing but doing gold, which this one is. It's a brand new crucible. Anyway. Oh, that's still freaking so oh, There, bright shaft of sunlight over here. Good enough. Let you look for a few seconds. I'm gonna go set this down, let it cool. And then, after it's cool, I will pop all the slag off of it, collect the lead prill, and then we're gonna scorify it. And after it's scorified, pop the litharge off of it, which will contain the impurities, recover the lead, split it in two exact prills, and cupel them down, and recover the gold beads. We're at that point. Till then, stop the video, and I'll pick it up at that point. Thanks for watching.